What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are having Thai coconut curry fettuccine with shrimp. I'm making mine kind of like this local restaurant makes theirs. They do this really awesome red curry and they add mushrooms, asparagus, and dried cherries to theirs. So I added all of that in here. I also added zucchini. I topped the whole thing off with Thai basil. I used a jar of paleo Thai curry sauce. I tried it when I was on paleo and I absolutely loved it. It's actually got a really nice amount of spice and tons of flavor. So I just added one whole jar in here and to make the sauce go a little bit further, if you're not getting as much sauce as you'd like, you can always reserve some starchy pasta water and add that pasta water into the sauce. You just wanna make sure that you're properly seasoning your pasta water, otherwise you're just gonna water down all of the flavor. All right, to drink I have water, but I also have Oyster Bay. Savion Blanc. Um, so Sam with the Naughty Fork just posted about this and I like, I'm obsessed with New Zealand Savignon Blancs. So she said it was on sale. I ended up going to Byerly's, the local uh, grocery store here and they had buy one, get one half off of all wines. So it ended up being an even better deal. Mm. Oh, that's gonna go so well with this. Okay, without further ado, I am just going to start eating. Oh. Oh, look at all that steam, oh my gosh, it looks so good. Wow. First of all, the dried cherries are money. You absolutely have to put them in here. They just, they give this burst of sweetness and it goes so, so, so well with this spicy coconutty sauce and that Thai basil, having it just fresh right on top. It's perfect. I love it. I love it. Mm. It's not too coconutty either. I feel like if you don't like coconut, you might still like this. It's hard to, for me to really describe curry. It tastes like curry. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe curry. By the way, I am wearing a shirt. It just seems to be blending in a lot. You have to be really careful with the shrimp too. There are some shrimps that still look pretty good. Some of them are overcooked. You really want them to look like a C. You don't want them to look like an O. If they've kind of curled in on itself, it's overcooked. You ideally don't want either end touching. So that's why I added them in like at the last minute. You could very easily just make this with chicken or fish.
Oh my goodness. Traditionally, curry is served in a bowl with rice on the side. But I really like eating with pasta. Why not? Ooh. See? This is what I'm talking about. See how it's in the shape of a C? C. Mm. Really tender. Ooh, there's so much sauce at the bottom still. So good. Just like really, really acidic. It kind of has this like green, peppery, grassy, grapefruity. Totally dig it. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my cat makes the weirdest noises. Butters, what's happening? Wanna say hi? Oh, hello. It's like, what's that? What is that? Asparagus are cooked perfectly, not to toot my own horn. When you're cooking mushrooms, if you want to brown them, you really need to give them like more space in the pan than I did. I didn't really care that much about browning the mushrooms or any of the other vegetables for that matter. I feel like every time I've had curry, the vegetables are more or less like sauteed with the sauce. So they don't usually have a whole lot of color on them. So that's why I just decided to throw everything in to one pan. Makes it easy, doesn't have to be perfect. Just has to be delicious. Got it.
For anybody that saw my paleo shakshuka recipe or video, this is the exact same jar and sauce that I used. I do want to learn how to make it myself though. I'm not even sure if it's difficult. I just found the sauce and I love it. And I love cutting corners sometimes. Actually, more of these shrimp are cooked pretty well, much better than I thought. This guy's a little overdone. He like curled up on himself. He's like... <laughs> I don't even know what I just did. What noise is that? Fresh basil just does things to me. It makes me grateful that that kind of flavor can be in something with hardly any calories. So obviously this whole thing is paleo if you take out the pasta. By all means, if you want to make this without pasta, you absolutely can. If you wanted to make it with rice, you absolutely can. And you can switch out the vegetables too. If you want to use just whatever's in season, that's fine. If you want to use these exact ones, that's fine. If you want to switch out another dried fruit or use no dried fruit, that's totally fine. I've seen some places use like mini corns. I don't know if you've seen those little mini corns. I've seen people use peppers. It's really whatever you want. All right guys, well, I'm not sure how much of it it looks like I ate, but I've eaten a fair amount. I'd venture to say around half, seeing as this thing was just piled up and like pouring out the sides before I started. So I'm gonna do the responsible thing and stop eating since I'm full. I'm going to save the rest of this for leftovers. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for leftovers. And what I'll probably do is just remove the shrimp when I go to reheat it heat up the rest of it. I'll probably add like a little bit of, I don't know, coconut milk, almond milk, if you have coconut cream, you know, whatever, just to like add a little bit of volume to the sauce, loosen it up a little bit. And then once the pasta and all the vegetables and the sauce are heated up, I'll add the shrimp back then just to just kiss them with a little bit of heat because oh my gosh, guys, you do not want to start shoving really overcooked shrimp into your mouth. It is just gross. Is gross. Or another thing you could do if you don't want to start with raw shrimp and you want to just get already cooked frozen shrimp, you could totally do that. You could cut them up into pieces and throw them in. You can leave them whole like I did. Uh, if you do opt to go, to go with fully cooked shrimp, I would just bring them to room temperature and when everything else is completely done, just toss them in real quick and the rest of the dish will just heat them up. Top it a little fresh basil and boom. All right guys, well thanks so much for joining me today. This was delicious. I hope you guys decide to make it. I think the brand of sauce that I use is Yai Thai, Yai Thai. You guys have to, have to, have to grab some. It's so good. I feel like Target even has it. Not a whole lot of ingredients, so much flavor, paleo. I mean, I can't say enough good things about it. I love it. I'll put all the ingredients that I used in the description below with a link to the Yai Thai sauce so that you can try to find it near you. And that's it for me today. Thanks again for joining me, guys, and I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.